Whether you are new or old to YouTube, you have probably heard people talk about tags. Some people talk about tags like they are these magical unicorns, that if you have the right tags, then your videos are going to rank on YouTube and they get tons of views and millions of subscribers are going to come simply because you had your tags. But is that really the case? That is why in today's video, I'm gonna dive into everything about YouTube tags. We are gonna talk about what are tags, why tags are important, how to use tags for your videos, and common mistakes that I see people making all the time with YouTube tags. So if you want the 411 on YouTube tags, then keep on watching. So this video is part of a series called YouTube 101, where I take one little piece of YouTube, I'm gonna break it down, dissect it, so that way whether you are new to YouTube or old to YouTube, beginner, intermediate, or advanced, you will have an understanding of that part of YouTube. So if you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe so that way you do not miss out on my next future YouTube 101 videos. So first and foremost, what are YouTube tags? Very simply, YouTube tags are words or phrases that lets YouTube know what your video is about. Tags are the keywords or the key phrases that people are typing into the YouTube search bar. So let's say you are a dog trainer and you are making a video all about the top five reasons that your dog won't stop barking. Some examples of different tags that you can use are why won't my dog stop barking, dog barking tips, how to get my dog to stop barking, dog stop barking, dog barking, dog training tips, etc., etc. But again, tags are basically just words or phrases that are related to your video. So that brings us into our next point, which is why are tags so important? So how do tags fit into this YouTube algorithm and why are they important? Well, YouTube has been a little coy with whether tags are important or not. It's definitely obvious that tags were a lot more important back in the day and now not so much. Now to understand tags further, you have to understand how YouTube works. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. It is owned by the number one search engine in the world. And both of these search engines have algorithms to determine which content they should show in their search results. Google and YouTube have made an incredible business from their search results because they have gotten so good at predicting the answers to our questions. So that's why we go to Google and we go to YouTube time and time again because they always have the best answers to the questions that we are typing. So with the YouTube algorithm, there are a lot of factors that YouTube looks at in determining whether it should place a video high in the search results, low in the search results, or not at all. These are things like titles, tags, descriptions, thumbnails, the list goes on and on and I have a video right here that breaks down the YouTube algorithm and YouTube SEO basics so if you want to learn more about how that works definitely check this video out. However, we may not know where each of these things fit and tags may be lower on the list, but it is still important to do them. It is another opportunity for you to let the algorithm know what your video is about. Because remember, the YouTube algorithm is just that. It's just a computer, it's just an algorithm. And when you have a video, you've probably put a lot of work into it. You wanna make sure that your video has the best chance of ranking. So it would make sense that since YouTube has given you 500 characters to basically go at it and let them know what the video is about, that you should do that. But really quickly, to help me when I am doing my keyword research and I'm trying to figure out what tags to use, I use a tool called TubeBuddy. It is a free Chrome extension and they have paid plans that have other features which make your YouTube life so much easier. So go to morganstradling.com slash TubeBuddy and then also you can use the code MorgansBuddy to get 20% off any of the plans. Trust me, it will make your life so much better, especially when it comes to tags. So the reason that I mention this is once you install TubeBuddy, you can type into the search bar anything related to your video, just to try to get an idea of whether this is a good tag or not. And then what comes up is this fun little graphic, which has a scale of zero to 100, letting you know whether or not you should target this keyword phrase and basically use it in your tags. Zero means absolutely do not do this. And 100 means yes, these are great. You should definitely consider using these tags. There are two things that TubeBuddy looks at when determining whether this is a good keyword or not, and that is the search volume and the competition. Search volume is basically how many people per month are searching this. If no one is searching it, then why are you gonna waste time making that one of your tags? And then if tons of people are searching it, that's great. And that goes into the next thing, which is competition. If it has very low competition, that is good news for you because that means there's not a lot of videos out there on this topic, and so you might stand a chance of ranking. And if the competition is very high, that means 
means, whoa, this is way too competitive. You might not want to consider using this. So basically what we're looking for is high search volume and low competition. And that's what that scale zero to 100 is for. So you can use TubeBuddy, just play around with a bunch of keywords, different phrases to try to get your wheel spinning on what tags you should be using in your video. So next up is how to use YouTube tags. So now you definitely know that yes, you should be using tags to some extent. So let's talk about exactly how to use them. So when you are uploading your video in the details section, there is this tag section that YouTube has given you and they have given you 500 characters for you to put different tags relating to that video. And so that is the first thing that you need to do is you need to come up with tags that are relating to the video in question. Don't just throw tags that have nothing to do with the video because that is not going to help you you are misleading YouTube. Yes, there may be some great tags that you want to rank for because they're so awesome, but if it has nothing to do with your video, you are misleading YouTube and misleading ultimately the viewers about what the video is about. And YouTube does not like that. So when you are putting different tags in here, you want to make sure that you are as honest and upfront as possible. And yes, you have 500 characters to use, but don't feel obligated to use all 500 characters. This is called keyword stuffing. We're basically you're putting as many keywords as possible into the tag section. And at the end of the day, if it's not a relevant tag, then you don't need it. So don't feel obligated to put tags that aren't related. Just really focus on the most important ones. Now, how do you know what tags to put into this section? Obviously, if you have a video, you probably know more or less what it's about. And so you can start putting those different keywords in there. I have a video all about my keyword research process and a tool that I use called TubeBuddy, which makes finding keywords super super easy because it's important when you're doing your tags that you want to put tags in there that not only are relevant, but ones that you actually stand a chance of ranking for. Some tags are very competitive because they're very broad. Think of vlog, vlogmas, or even just dog. If you're going to use those in your video, yes, it is relating to your video, but they're kind of a waste at the end of the day because it's so competitive that you're really not going to stand a chance ranking for those tags or those keywords. So I recommend that you do the research and you find tags that you are able to rank for. These typically are going to be keywords that are long tail keywords. And by long tail keywords, I basically mean tags that are phrases or multiple words versus just one or two words. These are especially helpful if you are doing how to videos, then you'll definitely want to put that how to program a computer, how to get my dog to stop barking, how to learn yoga in 30 minutes, right? These are the things that people typically are going to be searching for because they're asking questions. So you want to make sure that those questions or those long tail keywords are in your description. The next thing that you want to do is you want to use variations of your main keyword. So you'll typically have one keyword that you want to focus on and have that be the main one that you have in your title and your description because again, in your title, you don't have that much room. So you usually want one or two keywords in there and you don't want to keyword stuff that. And then in the tag section, that is where you have more opportunity to really elaborate on this. So this is where you want to do different variations of that keyword. Think about different ways that people would ask that question or type that into the search bar because not everyone is a robot is going to type it the exact same way. And then of course, if your video covers multiple topics, then you'll want to include those subtopics in there as well, because that is what your video is about. So if you want to know even more about tags and how to get your videos to rank, then you'll definitely want to check out my new course, the VidBoss Academy. I teach my entire Morgan method from A to Z, how to start a channel to making and upload videos that actually get views. If you want to know all of that, I share everything in the VidBoss Academy. So go to vidbossacademy.com to learn more. Tags are pretty simple and straightforward, but now I want to go into the common mistakes that I see with tags because while tags are pretty straightforward, a lot of people aren't familiar with SEO strategy and there is a learning curve. So these are mistakes that I see all the time and they don't help you in any way. So let's jump right into them. One of the most common mistakes that I see is that people separate their keyword phrase into individual words. For example, if your keyword phrase was how to groom a poodle at home, what I see people doing is they will use Use the tag how and then they would put to then groom then poodle then at then home. <laughs> As you can see, this is not helpful in any way, shape or form, because instead of, of the long phrase, which gives all of the context about what this video is about, you're instead separating into individual tags and telling YouTube that your video is about all of these things. It's about how it's about to. It's about groom. It's about poodle. It's about, you got the picture, right? 
And so YouTube is gonna take your word for it because these are the tags that you put. And so they're gonna try to rank you for poodle. They're gonna try to rank you for home. And as you can see, those are two completely different things. And even then they are so broad, they are not relating to your video at all. So do not do this, keep your keyword phrases together. Another common mistake that I see is that people use the exact same tags in every single video. Now, unless your videos are all exactly on the exact same topic, this is not helpful in any way, shape or form. Even though there are technically tags there, you're not really giving YouTube any useful information about the video because your videos are most likely on different topics and cover different things. So you wanna make sure that your tags are specific to that video and don't just use blanket tags for all of your videos. The only exception for this that I would include in all of your videos, if you can, is your channel name or your name. And that is because that video is tied to you or your channel and so you wanna make sure that you are making that connection directly for YouTube. Another big mistake that I see is putting zero tags in your videos. YouTube has given you this space, you might as well use it. This one is pretty obvious, but if you don't have tags in your tag section, you need to do it. It's just another opportunity for you to let YouTube know what your video is about. So why wouldn't you take advantage of it? Another common mistake that I see is using tags that are unrelated to your video. I think people think they can get a little bit sneaky with YouTube and if they slide in a tag there, then suddenly they'll rank for it. But no, that's not how it works. You're just deceiving YouTube and they're gonna have less trust in you and your videos and it's just not a good thing to do. And ultimately at the end of the day, you're not gonna rank for it because even if you did rank for that, people will click on your video, realize real quick that that is not actually what the video is about. So it was clickbait, it was false advertising, and they're gonna click away and so your watch time is gonna go down and it's ultimately gonna hurt you in the YouTube algorithm. So do not do it. Do not think that you're being so slick because you are not. Another common mistake that I see is not using your tags or those keywords in your description. A lot of times people think, oh, I already put the tags in the tag section, I'm good. You almost want to be a little bit redundant at time. Tags are really the first place that I start when I'm doing my SEO research. And so I come up with all of my tags first, but you don't just want to leave it there. You want to put those tags in other places like your description and your title. So that way Google can cross reference what your video is about from those other places. So a lot of times people will do a great job with their tags and their tag section is filled out, but then there's nothing in their description. And so you really should take those tags and weave them into the description box. Another common mistake that I see is stealing other people's tags. There are great tools out there like TubeBuddy and vidIQ that allow you to see other people's tags so that way you can see what's working, what they're ranking for, and it really just helps your keyword research process. But the problem is people don't actually do their own research and they just steal someone else's because they're ranking. And, and sometimes I'll even see that they don't even bother to edit out the original person's name or channel or things that were very specific to that video. Most likely your video is not a carbon copy of their video. And there's gonna be some nuances in the tags that you use, especially if that is a bigger channel where they already have authority with the YouTube algorithm. And so they're using tags that they actually stand a chance of ranking for. And if you try to use those exact same tags, it's not going to work. So don't think, oh, they already did it. They're ranking for those tags. I can just put it here. Mm -mm, doesn't work that way, honey. So as you can see, tags are a really important part of your YouTube strategy and something that you should definitely consider and not just skip over when you are uploading your videos. If you now have a better understanding of YouTube tags, give this video a like. Be sure to subscribe to join the tribe and hit that notification bell because I am gonna be doing this YouTube 101 series and you don't wanna miss out on my next video. And while we're waiting for my next video, be sure to check out this video right here because that's where I do a deep dive of my research process and how I come up with my tags. That's all I have for you today, and I'll see you next time. <coughs> eh, did I like that? Okay. Oh, that was the worst ever. That was, yeah, we did that.